I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Welcome. We are back. It is a cold airplane because we're doing a originator today and we're going to Cabo. <laughs> so we're going to be flying with uh, one of my buddies who I flew in the Air National Guard with for over 14 years. Good guy, goes by Bucket, otherwise known as Bucket Head uh, because he has a very large head. So all those defensive linemen, they're all big head guys. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to get the airplane ready and uh, start it up. So let's go do this. All right, guys, in the cockpit. Uh, Bucket has gone down to go do the pre-flight for us, so always appreciated when the captain goes down there and does pre-flight. But uh, we're going to go ahead and turn everything back on. So, better switch coming on. I'm going to turn on all the lights for him, actually. Heat, check the bottles. Ground power. Now we've got those creeks. Start aligning the IRSs. Turn the emergency uh, light on. Turn that off. Turn those lights on for him. And we'll check the fire alarm. I guess now it's going to be 8,000, so I'll set that up right now. As our FMC starts to come up, start plugging in some data here. Sometimes the buttons on here don't work very well. So the P looks like you got to really get on it. You gotta really want it. Delta 1, yes. set IRS position, route, plus flight plan, go over here and pull that up, page 2, try to pull up the route. A couple other things, we check the oxygen, make sure that doesn't uh, drain if the uh, oxygen valve is shut off. Also, we check our mask that up there make sure we can communicate if we have to put the oxygen mass on and turn the speaker on uh, so we want to check that and make sure that's good to go as well all right flight 2020 that's it let's load it taking off on my seven rock put that on there activate execute pre-flight in part 117 in it go ahead and grab the weather as well digital latest Send that off. Flight 117, that is received. We go to ATC and put KUSA, that's the identifier for CPDLC. Go ahead and log into that. Sent. Alright, and it's accepted. Go back and see what the weather is doing right now. X ray. 090 at 9, and I'll go ahead and put the uh, barrel in there for takeoff as well. How are you? All right, using uh, visual runway 8 if we're landing, but they're departing runway 7 left. Got a couple of uh, notums out there for cranes, all that good stuff. That up. Test the auto throttle FMC preset. Once we have everything aligned, we can test the uh, system for the jib whiz. And then also check the uh, TCAT. So because we got a little bit of time on the uh, pre-flight, uh, we got to wait until everything kind of comes up to kind of finish the pre-flight and, and the remaining items on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my paperwork ready, kind of build my nest. So I did get myself a burrito, and I got to make sure that bucket is ordering tacos because that's super important. <laughs> Alright guys, talk to you here in a second when we get our clearance. Alright guys, look who I got. Special guest. Hey. You got Sam? Look at this. Ava. And Ava. Can you wave hi Ava? We even Say hi to everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we even rode our riding luggage today. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> memory. So we get to uh get to fly Sam and his family down to Cabo today, so that's a special treat. Yeah, we're honored. So we're just uh, exciting. We're going to see how the landings go. <laughs> It'll be my landing too. So we know the last landing over there is a little, yeah. <laughs> so 
All right, we'll see you guys. Uh, All right, guys, we just got our clearance down to Cabo. ATC lights, they're down to Cabo, San Lucas, via the Storm 1, Tucson, then as filed, climb maintain 8,000. Set up there, 39 and 3, 26, 8 for departure frequency, a squawk is 07. Zero three. I'm flying. Put the FDs on. And we'll accept that. Bring that page back up to the route. Go up here. Ready to brief it up. Here's the route of flight all the way down to Cabo. Kind of wash, rinse, repeat. We've done this several times. If you guys remember, pull up the uh, WSI app. Let it reconnect. Give us the latest weather if there's any charge. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. There's no turbulence down there. Should be a really nice ride uh, on our way to Cabo. So we got an uh, hour and 36 minutes in route. 39,000 feet. Should be a nice ride. We'll see you down there in Cabo. is pulling up. This big uh, greeting over there. Landing yeah, pretty uh, pretty uneventful flight coming down here. A little bit bumpy uh, part of the way, but pretty smooth uh, most of the way, so that's good. Hour and 56 was our block. Flight time was only an hour and 36 minutes. So we got in pretty early. Uh, we're just going to get the airplane ready, be ready to go. It was awesome to see completely full flight. Obviously, Sam was on board and his family. It was nice. Took some pictures up in the cockpit, but uh, it was good. It's always fun to fly your friends uh, to wherever they're going. So it was my landing, so luckily I actually pulled out a, a fairly decent landing. But anyways, we're gonna get the airplane ready, and I uh, just finished my walk around. Then right back to Phoenix, and we're done. Alright, guys, we are getting ready to go here. We still got about 20 minutes. Airplane's pretty much ready, but we have a little bit of time. So I want to introduce you to Brent, also known as Buckethead. You'll see why. Um, <laughs> I've flown with this guy for 14 years in the Air National Guard, and I know he's sitting in here, but honestly, he's the best pilot that I've ever flown with. You know, every squadron has one. He was the one, so his head is going to get even bigger. Uh, but I always enjoy flying with him. It's great I get to fly with him now. I do want him to kind of give you guys his thoughts. He's very analytical because his head is massive, right? He's got a lot of brain in there. I want to get his thoughts on some of the questions you guys have as far as is now a great time to uh, start training? And then also his thoughts on future hiring at the airlines, if that's what you guys want uh, to do in the future. So without further ado, Britt. Thanks, Ern. Thanks for giving me the <laughs> opportunity. It's, it's great to fly again with Ern. We flew uh, in the Air National Guard for many years all over the world, and here we are down in Cabo getting to do it again. So we're having a great time. Uh, Ern asked me to come on and say a few things about uh, training and flying and doing the job. Start off with saying I have a son that's pursuing a career in aviation right now. He's uh, working on getting all of his certifications, and I continue to encourage him to do those things. I think it's a great time to get into aviation. Uh, we always talk about the, uh, the the current retirements, the retirements of the older pods across the industry at uh, our airline, but at all the airlines. And uh, I think that's going to go up. Uh, Ern and I just, were just talking about this. I think with many people taking, many pilots taking early retirement over the course of the last 12, 18 months and leaving the industry as the demand uh, for travel comes back here as we're already seeing uh, since early March of this year, the demand has gone up exponentially. That our, our demand for pilots is going to go up and we're going to have a higher demand uh, coming through the through the, the backside of the pandemic than we would have had had it not occurred. So I, I, I think uh, I think it's a great time to be in training. Great time to continue to pursue, get all your ratings, build your time and your experience and your qualifications. And uh, before you know it, you'll be in Cabo. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, vacationing in Cabo when I'm flying. But no, it's been a, it's a great. Great job, great career, and uh, we love coming down here, but wouldn't mind staying for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, cool guys. Uh, just wanted to, again, you know, whenever I get a chance to, you know, and Brent's been around forever uh, also. He's been, uh, he's had a couple of airlines that he's flown for. Um, so he's got a lot of experience in the industry. So it's always good to get those guys' opinion just because they've been there and done that. So that's why I try to do to you guys. All right, uh, we're gonna get our stuff going and uh, <laughs> more chips. calorias. <laughs> get more chips. So <laughs> anyways, we're gonna get the airplane ready to head back over to Phoenix, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again, Brent, for Thank doing you. that. And uh, we'll see you guys here in Phoenix. American 1225, affirmative. American 1225, clear to Kilo, Delta, Foxtrot Whiskey Airport. Oh. Departure from Bromley 16, Uzbrook Street DFW, Alpha. So. Doesn't matter to us. Who's <laughs> intersection? Clearance, Bondia Southwest 1922, clearance to Phoenix, ready to copy. Southwest 1922, clear to Phoenix Airport, departure, Anigo 1 Alpha, Anigo, direct Lima Tango Oscar, direct Hotel Mike Oscar, Juliet 92, Tucson, rest is file, climb to Unmontane. Flight level 220, until further advice, expect flight level 380 as final, squawking 2140. All right, Southwest uh, 1922, we are cleared to Phoenix via the Inigo 1 Alpha, Lima Tango Oscar, Hotel Mike Oscar, J92 to Tucson, then as filed. We'll climb to 320, expect 380 as a final, and squawk 2140. Southwest 1922, initial climb to flight level 220, until further advice, 380 is final. The rest is correct. All right, thank you. Uh, 220 until further advice, and 380 is the final. Southwest 1922, thank you. All right, there we go. Uh, got the clearance. We had the speaker on, so, you know, Bucket's enormous head. Uh, the headset bothers him a lot, so... <laughs> But we got the clearance uh, on our way back over to Phoenix. Our last bus is uh, showing up with our passengers, so we're going to go ahead and brief this up and get on down the road. All right, guys. See you in Phoenix. All right, guys. We are back. Hey, check out that thing. Dreamliner. All right. Our jetway is just coming off. So we don't have our uh, actual times in yet. So their flight time was about an hour and 44 minutes. International gate here at Bravo 23. Thanks again to Bucket. Thank Red you. Down. It's always good to get other people's interpretation of what's going to happen. <laughs> or opinion, right? Opinion. Opinion, I should say opinion. opinion. So anyways, all right, we're going to clean up here and uh, head on out and get through customs. We're done. All right, guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Uh, special thanks to Brent for taking the time out to talk to you guys. I really do appreciate that, too. Uh, it is Friday. The video is getting ready to come out. Uh, I'm going to get a workout in. Holy cow. What? 84 degrees. 84. <laughs> so I'm going to get this video out, uh, get a workout in first. I just want to tell you guys, hey, I appreciate every single one of you. It is the weekend. Make sure you spend it with those that you care about. And uh, always stay humble, stay hungry, and keep flying. And we'll see you out there.